MEC of Health, Dr. Popira Matuba, welcomes the 2020 Limpopo Health Intense. We are welcoming around uh, 518 healthcare professionals. That includes your pharmacy interns, your medical officers interns, your clinical psychologists interns, and a number of uh, uh, allied health professionals who have completed their uh, degrees and now they are joining the Department of Health uh, doing community service here. She gave advice on good behavior. We do things here by the book. It doesn't matter how long does it take, but we must follow the books. There is no room for correction. You can only improve on the next patient, but on the life that you have lost, there's nothing much that you can do. So that's why in every action that you are doing on that particular patient, before you inject a bolus of any IV drug, read twice and ask your colleague to read for you. MEC Ramatuba frankly explains to the intense the recruitment changes for health professionals. It cannot be automatic like what used to happen in the past, that the day you finish your community service, you will automatically be absorbed as a permanent employee. That you must know. Unfortunately, it's a painful truth, which I must tell you now. When you finish your community service, you are going to apply for a job. You are going to sit for an interview like an engineering graduate, like an accountant graduate, like any other professional. These doctors are grateful for the opportunity. Well, for me to get this placement at Latago Hospital, I'm so grateful. Um, I'm so happy to be there. All the staff is wonderful. The doctors are great. The learning environment is fabulous. I'm currently in uh, obstetrics and gynecology. I've been learning a lot there. It's, it's a wonderful environment. I'm based in St. Peter's Hospital. Uh, I studied in Cuba and I uh, integrated in vets. I believe in preventive medicine and that of curative medicine. I'm mainly grateful to the Department of Health. Uh, from 2012 up until today, they've been holding my hand throughout this journey, so I'm grateful for everything. We're servicing a very poor community, so I'm hoping as a, as a fresh face that I can bring some goodness and help our people. And to the community that I'm serving, I would really love to like do education. I believe that a health education is the key to a better health system. Sharon Libebe, Limpopo Health News, Bolokwane.